Hey everyone, today I'm going to share with you the Dearly Departed. This is all my empties, so if you're brand new to the channel, this is going to be wax, any kind of bath beauty product that I think needs to be um, discussed. And um, yeah, the only other thing that I wanted to tell you was there are nail polishes back behind here. I'm doing water marbling and I'm just playing around with it, so you'll see I have four nails done and I'm just kind of taking a break to get this video done. My basket is overflowing, so I really need to get it cleared out. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the candles up here. I have eucalyptus. Now I reviewed this candle. It says a refreshing and uplifting scent combining crisp eucalyptus with hints of orchard citrus. To me, this smells like aftershave. Mm, I like the eucalyptus. It's a sweet eucalyptus. I think that citrus really kind of zings it out strong strong candle it just it threw like a champ and it, even though it looks nasty that's just because I dumped it after I used it up on the warmer it it was just a nice burn all the way down I really really enjoyed that candle and I'm glad I have extras of that next I have the province gardens uh, 2014 candle this says, from garden to table, much of French cuisine includes herbs like the ones in this blend of fresh garden greens, pear blossoms, and a hint of ivy. I haven't finished this one up. It was a very light candle, um, very floral. You get some green, perfumey. It was just a really well-balanced ba well garden perfumey type scent. It, it wasn't like overpowering where I was like, wow, I got to blow that out. But it was enjoyable. I actually, I think out of all of the things that Province Gardens came out in, I think I like the hand soap the best. So even though I liked the candle, and I do have a couple of them in the mason jars too. Um, next I have Yankee Candles Peeps. This is the Marshmallow Chicks candle. Now, I did review this one, and I said it didn't have any throw at all. And I have to kind of um, take back what I said, because after I made that video and the candle hit about halfway, it started throwing like crazy. At first, I couldn't smell anything. I had to stand right over it, and it had absolutely no throw. And then, all of a sudden, I'm getting, like, sweet creaminess fluffy marshmallow chicks like I'm totally thinking peeps sugary sugary goodness almost like a buttercream but amazing and it was it just I was like really I totally dogged on you and now you're throwing so it was really a nice candle it could have been paired with something it was just kind of a basic scent like that but I'm glad that I stuck with it and let it continue to burn and I also have that, I think, in votives and, and tarts, too, that I'll still tr use and see if I get a better throw with them. Next, I have Loopy Coconut Cookie Bread. And I remember this one being just a nice bakery, sweet bakery. Not a whole lot of coconut. Um, more just like a fruity bread scent. It was nice. It was a, it's, a, it's an older tart, so I don't know if it just wasn't strong because it was older. Um, I think if I order from K's again, I probably would pick this up again because I did enjoy it. It did not last as long as I would like them to last, though. So that was Loopy Coconut Cookie Bread. Very nice. Bakery, not anything that was overwhelming. You get the bakery notes, you get the sweet cookie. I didn't really get coconut, but I did get, like, if that's supposed to be like Fruit Loops, I did get, like, that kind of sugary sweet cereal type of note in that. Next, I had jelly beans. This I had in a votive. I don't know if I reviewed this or not. Mm, it's like grape candy, like grape jelly beans. 
super, super sweet. Now, my votive didn't really throw. Um, I was kind of disappointed in it, and I did pick this up in tarts, too, to see if I'd get a better throw from it, but I haven't tried them yet. But I do enjoy this. Um, I just wish it was stronger. And I've heard that from several people, that it wasn't strong enough for them. This crazy one is the cream cheese frosting. Oh, cream cheese frosting with carrot cake from Rose Girls. And I can still smell it. And it's got that yummy, yummy cheesecake scent to it. I just, you can't go wrong with this. Hmm. I actually have this in a, in a big bag, so you probably see this often. Very, very creamy, sweet. I mean, I know it took a long time to get my Rose Girls order, but it is totally worth it. And I actually just got another order in of Mini Melts, so I'm very, very excited. I will tell you about all of those once I let them cool and, you know, when it's time for me to actually start melting them. Next is Grapevine and Oak. I love this. You get that oak. Mm, that earthy oak scent and that sweet, sweet, sweet grape note. But it's not like Kool-Aid grape. It's real, like, fresh grapes. Oh, it's amazing. Amazing. Like, it smells like wine with a little bit of oakiness. I love that one. I don't even know if they make that one still, but I love it. I used up Picnic in the Park in the centerpiece, and I cleaned this out. It actually popped out pretty clean. I kept it because, first off, I can still smell this. It smells like strawberry, mango, and coconut. Very creamy scent. Um, it's not like juicy fruit. I just get kind of a, like, I don't want to say it, like it was mixed with vanilla, but that it's just kind of a laid-back fragrance. Um, I cleaned it out though because I want to see if I can use this as a container at work for my children to keep in their desk to count coins. I know that sounds silly, but you know, these are pretty substantial. I think that they could take a, a beating in, in uh, a child's desk. All right, I used up Beautiful Day. I have a ton of these. What does it say? If I can read the back. That would be awesome. Nope. It just says it has sun-kissed apple. Oh. Our exclusive Beautiful Day fragrance makes you feel like you're having the perfect spring day. Full of carefree, delicious moments. And not one bit of that said what it actually has in it. But the notes are down below it. Sun-kissed apple, dewy pear, sparkling... Cassis? Cassis? I don't know. I can't hardly read this. Mid notes are wild daisies, lily of the valley, fresh pink peony, white peach, blonde woods, and creamy musk is the dry down. I love Beautiful Day. It is such a nice, bright, sweet scent. It really just kind of wakes me up in the morning. Um, I don't really get the whole dry down because this is just the shower gel. I don't use the lotion. So right now I've been really using up my um, body cream, which is in rice flour and shea, and I have a vanilla lemon um, one as well. So, but I do enjoy this. It's like my five minutes alone washing with smelly soap without having somebody attached to me all the time. Um, next I have Pear Blossom. This is Air. And I like this. This is a nice label. I can read it. Escape to a world where ingredients become extraordinary with the pure touch of air. Our new collection of luxurious, fresh, fine fragrances is so sheer, so light, you'll be floating on air. All right. Pear Blossom Air is an invigorating blend of crisp green pear, fresh gardenia, and narcissus, I have no idea what that is, leaf, with the whispers of crisp mandarin, vapor, and white musk. I don't know. I get the pear blossom. It's sweet and light, 
and I really, really liked it. I, I grabbed it and it was like three bucks, I think, during the semi-annual sale. So I, I was like, I couldn't go wrong with it. And when I actually opened it and smelled it, I was like, oh, I'm going to grab a couple of these. So I'm glad I picked them up because I really do like that one. And to me, if you ever get like a pear fragrance from um, Bath & Body Works, it kind of reminds me of their of apple scents too. So I know that sounds weird, but like if I think country apple has pear notes in it. So I think every time I smell pear, I'm like, oh, it smells kind of like country apple. Even though Country Apple was really sweet. Oh, hi there, Tutti Fruity. This, I love this, this candle's label. Just, mm, to me this smells like cherry candy. Like, um, you get the lemony, the lime, the cherry. It's just very fruity. Mm, hence its name. It was, eh, medium throw. But it smelled great on the warmer. It was almost too strong. I had to turn it off. But love, love, loved it. Uh, I used up a Neutrogena Deep Clean Gentle Scrub Oil Free. Um, you know, exfoliation. It's good for you. I don't usually use Neutrogena, but I uh, do use Clinique. And, you know, I'm trying to save some cash even though I don't think it's any I think it's only a couple bucks I don't think it's really making and breaking the bank um, all right dunk my donut cuppa cake Noel by Rose Girls first off the chunks she gave me were ginormous oh, I don't know how they do it it's Vanilla Be Noel with, I'm guessing, cupcake. And then it's this donut scent. Oh. Does it have coffee in it? I don't know. But it smells so good. I think, I think the Dunk My Donut has, like, coffee. Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's just donut. I don't know, but it, it makes me want to have a cup of coffee. Oh, and it's the, that real sweet vanilla in there, that vanilla be Noel, I, which I love as far as melting goes. I think that's just, there's like a little tiny piece in there still. It smells so good. And I actually bought all of these scents in mini melts so I can recreate this blend. I would recommend Rose Girls to anybody if you can get in and get an order in and if you don't know when you need to join a Facebook group so you'll know because that's the only way I know I'm let's see I've melted or burned a peach cobbler votive now I have to tell you this does not smell like my um, tumbler that I picked up this actually was more peachy and less cobbler but my my tumbler is not like that. It's like even Steven. It's got that nice, I don't want to say cinnamon because I don't want to scare anybody, but it's got that nice breading topping with the fruit. It's just, it smells fabulous. So even though I wasn't real thrilled with this one, it, almost, it smells so much different. So much different? Yes. So much different than the tumbler. So, you know. I, I'm going to wait and see before I say exactly how I feel about that. The, the vote of left me with nothing. But I'm hoping the tumbler will knock my socks off. Um, this is an old one since it's from Orchid Lake. And I, I apologize for the lighting. I'm getting a new uh, camera light. It, I bought it on Amazon, so it's supposed to be here any day. This is Zesty Lemon Zucchini. I'm going to guess zucchini bread. This was nice. You get the, it, it was kind of a, I don't want to say it was a strange combination, but like when I want zucchini bread, I'm not necessarily wanting lemon. So I think that kind of turned me off a little bit, but their zucchini bread is really good. Um, and I know Orchid Lake is no longer Orchid Lake, it's Wilma. And I have not had to order from them because I've still got so many, but they have amazing scents, especially if you're looking for bakery. Oh, it's 
across the room. I melted a lemon pound cake from Candu Candles. When in this one, you know, it's lemon pound cake. You you get the lemon, the nice bakery pound cake note, which is pretty much like a buttery kind of of note, and it was it was nice. Um, I think this is like the second or third one of these I've had. I like Candu. I don't order from her often, but when I do, I try to get as much as I can, so I'm not having to try to place orders. Summertime is coming up, so you'll see less wax, unless it's from Bath and Body Works or Yankee, which semi-annual sales are coming up. So, and we'll look at this lemon cream. Delish. I love this scent. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. It's so good. It's got like a little picture of like, I guess, lemon macaroons on the front. Oh, it's so good. I actually went to the outlet and found an actual tumbler. It's a small tumbler or a medium tumbler of it. But I wish I could find it in a ginormous tumbler because I really, really, really like it. Now the votive, it was okay. But I'm really thinking that it, the tumbler will be a better throw. Uh, Orchid Lakes, Orchid Lake, excuse me, baked apple bread. This was nice. It was, you know, a cinnamony um, apple and then that nice bakery bread note. Very nice. Oh, huh. I used up my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. Mm -hmm. um, this was in what? Fresco? Yeah. And I like this stuff because it's supposed to stay right where it is. You know, it's not going to run. Um, and if you use that and then loose powder, it's supposed to stay in place and not, not budge. Um, I really am trying to find a... a another foundation but I'll have to I'll have to do some research you know trying to find one the right color is never easy for me all right next is another rose girl this is pomegranate watermelon smoothie can we be real for a minute oh my goodness this scent is absolutely amazing. You get the pomegranate. It's very, very slight, but you get that nice juicy watermelon, and then you get that smoothie, which is, I think it's marshmallow. Oh my gosh, it smells just like a smoothie. Like, you know, something that would have like an ice cream in it. But wow, I mean, to a T, it's perfect. I loved it, loved it, loved it. And I think I like cut it into like several pieces. Now this I only had one chunk of and I savored every moment of it. I'm pretty sure I bought a either a pie or some muffins in this, the last opening for customs. So we'll have to find out. But everybody needs to try that. If you like fruit scents or if you like foodie type scents that are sweet like you know bakery but not bakery <laughs> I know that sounds weird but you know it's not like it's fresh fruit it's not like it's fresh strawberry and that's it if you like a, a blend of, of different things and you're willing to try it try it. it it's amazing I absolutely love it uh I melted a red velvet cake you know I just couldn't get into this scent it's a very, I don't, and I hate to say it like this, but it's like chocolate vanilla. Like it's not, there isn't anything to it that I'm like, oh, I just love this red velvet cake. I've tried and tried and tried and I just can't get into it. I don't know if I've held on to the tarts too long or, or what, but I just, it's just not up my alley. I'm sorry. Um, you know, I like red velvet cake. I'll eat some red velvet cake, but... That just isn't, it's not strong. And 
you know, when I want a bakery, I want it to be like, I want people to come into my house and go, wow, what are you baking? Or what did you make, you know? But that doesn't, it didn't do any of that for me. Holy moly, I told you I had a lot. Caramel apple from Orchid Lake. Definitely a good one. It was a nice, strong caramel apple. And it's that sweet apple. So it's tart. Very, very nice. I was in a very apple-y type of mood, I guess, because the next one is white chocolate apple from Yankee Candle. And to me, this smells like sugared apple. Maybe with a little bit more sugar. It's a tart apple. Very bright. You get the sugar. And, you know, to me, white chocolate doesn't smell like chocolate. Like, I think it just smells like sugar. Plain and simple. Um, but it was a delicious scent. I mean, it threw. It was so good. And for a votive, too, I was really impressed. And I think I actually picked that one up in a tumbler as well. I love it. So if you liked sugar apple... And they don't have that one out right now. I don't know if it's going to come back in the fall. If you liked sugared apple, then you probably like the white chocolate apple. That's all I'm saying. Mmm, cherry lemonade. Oh, no, cherry limeade from Scentsy. Wow, it's still limey. Cherry limeade. It smells good. It's very bright. Um... I've never had bad luck with a Scentsy product, and I'm not trying to like throw in a, a little thing here, but I really have not had bad luck. They've always smelled exactly how they do when I open them. Um, I just wish I could get through them a lot faster because I've got so much, and then it's like, bring back your bar, and they're bringing back one of my ones that I want, but I really don't have space for it, so I'm trying to melt some of those up. I uh, I think Cutie Pie Cupcake's on there, so that's one that I really like. But Cherry Limeade, it smells like Cherry Limeade. It smells like the slushy drink that you would get from a certain restaurant that has people, um, you know, on roller skates at some locations. And it's also the name of a hedgehog from a video game. It's from Sonic, sorry. I'm... It's late. Whoa! It's like Christmas in here. Oh, speaking of sugared apple. Sugared apple. I'm not even going to go into detail with this because I've talked about this one before. So, so good. I love it. But they smell very similar. Uh, what is this? What is this? What is this contraption of Scentsy that I'm looking at here? I have no idea, but I don't know if anybody has gone over this before, but if you lay a ribbon in your Scentsy Warmer, I have tried it with some other waxes, and it works half and half. You put this in, and then you let it cool, and then you pull the ribbon up, and it comes right out. And I just break it off and reuse the ribbon over and over again, so I'm not having to cut new ribbon all the time. Let's see. Oh, party in my bungalow. I don't even know what's in this. It was good. It, I, as far as the three that I melted from Rose Girls in my basket, this one was probably my least favorite. I don't even know what the notes are for this. I just remember not really, like, thinking this was the best ever. Um, it's, I don't even know. There was just something about it that I didn't care for. It wasn't bad. I mean, it was a different scent. But I think out of the three that I had, this one was my least favorite. And I'm sorry, those of you that love it. And there are people that love it. There was just something about it that I didn't, I didn't care for. But that doesn't mean it was awful. It just wasn't my cup of tea. Uh, that's old. I think some of these are old and they got thrown in here. I used up an espresso bar wallflower. I figured I'd just keep the tag instead of bringing in the actual wallflower. I have so much espresso bar and I've talked about it time and time again. I have like 12 of the candles. It's just a nice rich espresso. People think it smells like chocolate and I do agree at times it does scent. The wallflower was amazing. 
and I finished this. This is from Absence Home Fragrance. And this was in the scent Lemon Pound Cake. Now, I have to tell you, I believe Brandy is the one who sells these. And I don't, I'm not sure if she still does. Um, but this candle, I had it in the family room. I knew it wasn't going to do well in the family room. So then I moved it in the bathroom and it smelled so good. I was like, man, I wasted half of it trying to do it in the family room and I should have waited and done it in the bathroom. Wow, I can still smell it when I open it. It smells so good. Um, it's not the cleanest burn, but, I, you know, it, it wasn't anything that I didn't expect from, you know, soy wax. Oh, but that was such a good candle. It was so delicious. I just, I'd walk by and go, wow. I mean, I, I don't usually like to burn bakery scents in my bathroom because I'm not baking anything in the bathroom. But... That one had to just because it was a smaller candle, but it, it smelled divine and it did throw well. It would have done probably well in a small um, kitchen or a small bedroom. If you get just a really nice bright lemon and you get a real sweet pound cake. It was just really different than the pound cakes I've tried before. Um, I really don't like the real bready kind of pound cake. Like, it smells like butter. I like the ones that actually smell like more like cake since it's called pound cake. I don't know what else is in here. Uh, Southern Fried Apple. Mm, this was like walking into a craft store or a Cracker Barrel. That's the best way I can describe it. It's like that real southerny apple spice scent. Um, it was good, just, you know, I, I've smelled that time and time again. All right, I think that's it. Oh my goodness gracious. And this is a almost a 30 minute video. I apologize. But that is everything that I have used in the past few weeks. Trying to get all my melt on. And trying to get my candles burned up because summer is upon us. And I don't like to burn candles during the summer. I'd rather just use my warmer. Uh, just because I feel like the air runs a lot more when I have the um, candles going. So... If you have any questions or need a better description of one of these, please don't hesitate to ask down below. I'll be glad to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, or if you felt differently or whatever, please share. I'm, I'm all about it. And until next time, take care.